Hey everybody, thank you here. Welcome back. Neo Scavenger. I think this is episode eight. I'm literally just picking up right where I left off. Hit the stop record button. Three seconds later, hit the record button. So I'm fully up to speed on what we're doing here. We uh, had a really good episode uh, in episode seven. And we are going to start making our way back. It's just so abundant up here. Like it's it's an embar like I said in the last episode, embarrassment of riches. We need to come back down here and start trading because we got a lot of stuff to trade. Um, yeah, we got so much stuff that I, I'm like leaving food behind. Uh, we got plenty of water. We're, we're doing good. We're doing good. Oh, you know what? I bet you I can let's get rid of that and put one of these up here. Forty-seven, forty-seven. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's do that. And I don't think that's going to do anything. Nah, probably not. Hmm, what if I, if I put that there, put those up there, oh, it's not going to make a difference. Alright, I'm just getting really pedantic at that point, so, not exactly good for good content, you know, so, let's keep moving. There's some people in the area, that guy, that's a pistol guy, oh my gosh, it's like a whole gang of people. Alright, I'm just going to keep moving, they'll still be there, they should still be there when we come back into this area. So I'm sure we'll cross paths again, probably. But in the meantime, I'm just going to kind of... That dude has the coolest helmet. Is that the a ATN guy or something? I don't know. I think so. I think he might be an ATN guard. It's sort of like the uh, shadow guards over here, or whatever they are. But except for, like, apparently there's some other... Some other uh, colony or something that they guard. So sort of like police officers or whatever, mercenaries. Security guards. Stretch your force. No, let's do the shack. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. All right. We're going to have to make some decisions. We're going to have to put that crowbar somewhere. We're going to have to strap that sucker up. And... I'm gonna have a little celebration drink. It's eleven dollar water, so that should be safe to safe to drink. It's like a unopened one. A two hundred and whoa, two hundred and one dollars for a whiskey? Yeah, we'll be getting rid of your soda pop here. Where's that at? Three dollar soda pops. Yeah, I'll be getting rid of that. We putting that whiskey up there. What do we got here? Drugs worth? Oh, it's hydrocodone. Cool. Some more pain meds. Um, we can actually empty these out and put these in the same. See, my bruise is still there. Yeah, that's why he's, he's in pain, but he's okay. I'm struggling to carry all the amazing loot that we have. 58% condition with the shotgun. Mm. I don't have ranged, I don't think. Do I? No. Yeah, shotgun would be kind of nice to have. But, uh, anything in these pockets? No, no, no. no, no okay. So, I'm going to get my, my... It's my medical kit. Okay. Empty that out. Now I want to keep this down here. Keep this down here. Um, these two go in there as well. As well as the clean racks. I'm just trying to keep it separate. Uh, this is my pain meds. So we're going to throw these orange pills in here. Because I'm assuming that they're also... I know hydrocodones. Pain meds. I'm assuming the orange pills are hydrocodone. Codone. Okay. Let's put these back. All right, that looks good. And I'm going to put this up here as well. Let's see if we can't craft ourselves a sling, and then I'll put this uh, somewhere. I'll get rid of the meat if I have to. Heck, I'll eat it if I have to. I guess I don't need to eat it. But I'll get rid of $50 worth of meat for $471. Oh, okay. You know what? You can't put that in. Wait, does the, does the crowbar fit there? Not really. I'll get rid of something here, obviously. Uh... Yeah, $35 sleeping bag. That one, that thing is just taking up so much room at this point. I'm just like over it. Okay, that doesn't work. These batteries got to go somewhere else. Okay, that works. What else can we get rid of? Small things to make room for larger things. All right, wonderful. What else? Anything else? That can go in there. That can almost go in there. Not, not go in there. Can go in there. 
Okay, so we got that. I think we got this. There we go. Alright, that worked. $17 monkey wrench. I think it's pretty big, though. But I don't want anybody picking up, so I'm going to get rid of that. I haven't found a need for a monkey wrench, like, tool-wise yet. And, uh, well, that would actually fit in there, wouldn't it? Ooh, that's a good bag. Or the sled's a good, you know, good sled to have. Okay, let's see if we can strap this up. What a good loot. Loot find there. And, ooh, lots of... It's weird the way the weapons are spaced out here. I don't have a shotgun option? I can't... Shotgun, here we go. It won't let me put a string on it. What if I try to do it myself? Let's see if I can make this happen myself. Do I have large... I might just have small string at this point. I might have to connect a couple together. Do I not have any string? I thought I had a strap too. I could take the strap off the uh, crowbar if I had to. I thought I had a bunch of string. Did I not pick up my string? Maybe, maybe I didn't. I must have forgot. About, I left left the string behind at one point. Okay, yeah, okay, that's fine. Well, in that case, let's see if we can unstrap the uh, crowbar get a string out of it now let's see if we can shotgun with a strap no nope. Pro probably isn't going to work but it was worth a shot the shotgun over here where's my string at and now i do have a string ah nothing <clears throat> i actually need to have a strap i thought i had a strap but i think maybe i left it behind that's okay we'll make room for that we'll, we'll reconstruct the uh crowbar like it was <laughs> it really wants you to use that recipe crowbar with strap there we go okay well that'll go back on his back and then we'll make room for the shotgun we're not leaving that behind I think All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of this piece. I think I have a 20 20 percent somewhere. Right. There it is. Let's get rid of that piece of meat. And what I'll do is I'll put this one down here and put these over here. Let's uh, rotate these and put them in there. Yep. Okay. There we go. Okay, not there. This will work. This will be just fine. Oh yeah, plenty of room now. There we go. Oh, he's got slugs in it already too. Let me see how much it is without the slugs. And it drops the price significantly, but those are slugs. So the only thing is I can't use it in combat unless I equip it in my hand before combat. Like if I had it slung over my shoulder, I'd be able to use it, but I'm not really great with ranged anyway, so. Probably would just be a waste of money. Okay, well that was good. I, and I am, I do have my sled. Yes. Got everything else. Yes. Make sure I don't leave anything behind. That's super necessary. I'm starting to get tired. Could drink this and then crash later. But uh, what time of the day is it? It's daytime. I might do that. Nah, I don't really want to mess around with uh, caffeine high crash. Probably come at the worst time or something. Um, let's move over here and see if we can 
intercept this uh, looter down here. Alright, good. We got him. Let's drop that sled. Let's uh, move towards him. Oh, he's an, a an ATN warrior. Never mind. I'm going to talk to him. This is not the place for talking, he says. Paying more attention to something beyond you. We may talk later. Okay. So I was going for this guy, but ATN warriors there. I don't really want to piss people off at this point. I haven't even been to their town yet. I'll probably end up killing him, and then they'll be like, Oh, yeah, we heard about you. You're not allowed inside our inside our city walls or something. I don't know how that works. But let's go put our sled back on. Uh, I'm going to make sure everything was still there. Yep, all good. A bunch of string. I'm going to add that to my pile. Oh, no, I don't have a pile anymore because I turned it back into... There, we'll start a new pile. Start collecting string again. Ooh, that's an interesting potato chip bag. It's got potato chips in it, like a full thing of potato chips in it, plus a lighter, plus uh, some, <laughs> some other stuff. I think it had stones in it, too. But uh, I don't need to eat those, so I'm going to leave those. Um, I do want the lighters, though. What is it? 12% condition. It's not much, but I'll take it. A uh, really good bottle of water. So we'll and drink that up. What does this say? Yeah, we already did that one. That's uh, a spaceport, and they're shooting at each other in space and taking slaves and stuff. I think. Something like that. Alright, so now we have three lighters. Alright, cool. Is there anything else here? I can't remember. Was there? Let's just talk to him again. I don't, like I said, I don't want to fight him. Okay, there we go. Nope, nothing left here. And it's starting to get to be nighttime, but uh, I think we'll keep moving. At least try to find one more spot before nightfall comes. There we go. Get away from everybody. Hide these tracks. Hide myself. Come down here. Hide tracks. Oh, I'm out of moves. That's why. Hide tracks. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna scavenge here until after we uh, wake up. So yeah, we'll just hang out here. I'll go up on the hill, see what else I can see from here. Nothing much. Do some exploring, real quick. All right, let's head back. tracks okay turn hide, hide tracks again and now we're ready to sleep we're weary, str weary struggling comfortable in pain still still got that little bruise yeah the value of these are starting to go down so we need to move we need to get back to DMC quick to maximize profits so I'm gonna I'm gonna make a beeline for it now I'm gonna skip all the places on the way from here all the way down to there just to uh, get there before our meat goes becomes worthless you know so let's do that I leave I left my noise traps behind didn't I oh that's not good that's not good wait did I yeah I left my noise traps behind I don't know where I would have put them anyway but I don't like sleeping like this but if we have to we will all right so i'll just sleep in the sleeping bag then let me grab that at least all right man my alertness is gonna suck tonight oh, hope we don't get ambushed this could be a could have been a costly mistake after all the good things and man would i be a great one to kill look at all the stuff i got all right, let's uh, cross our fingers. Hopefully we survive the night, and then tomorrow we can make it all the way back to Detroit. All right. So it's dawn. There we go. Let's uh, grab our sleeping bag. Put it back here. All right. starting to lose some value there how far do we gotta go for Detroit mm, we got a ways to go let's get moving
still morning, so I think we're going to make it there. Oh, shotgun dude. Everybody around here is packing heat. I was trying to avoid losing turns going through the forest, but so much for that. All right, we're going to make it. No problem. It's still middle of the day. Yeah, we're gonna make it just before nightfall. Let's go uh, to the junk market, do some trading. All right, let's see what we can see what we can get. Not worth a lot. Some of this is now worth three dollars. Take it. All right, do I want to sell the shotgun? I think I might want to sell the shotgun. But first, let's see what else we can sell. First, let's get rid of the dog man. Six ninety-five. Nice. Then I gotta buy it back at a profit, right? I wonder if I if I don't wanna empty these bag. I can empty out this bag. Let's see if I can get Alright, let's see what happens. I want these back though. Yeah, they're free, okay. They're not gonna mess with me on that. I could hack these. Yeah, I want to do that. I want to hack these. Get charges on these. Night vision. 100 bucks. Ooh. 100% condition. That seems like a good deal. Yeah, let's get the night vision for 100 bucks. And uh, is that pretty much... Yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted out of here. I don't want to do it. See how much I get for it. That's fun. That's fun. I'll give up the ammo too. I need to charge this. Oh no, I can use that at night as well. 150 bucks. We'll do that. That's too valuable. I think I'm gonna keep that one. Might save my butt. What else? Anything else back here? That I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hack these two phones once I charge them. Those are empty. That's pretty good. Honestly, it looks. I think I sold everything I really wanted to sell. Okay. I'm gonna put this stuff up here. I think. My survival stuff here. Cell phones aren't, yeah. My electronics bag. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. Got quite a bit of money now. So maybe I can get my eyes fixed. But, uh. What was over here at the arcade? I can't remember what was over there. I can't remember. Oh, that's the uh, that's the hotel. Or the different types of cars to sleep in. Yeah, that might not be too bad of an idea, actually. Even uh, We're well, well rested, though. I don't think we're going to have any problems here in Detroit. Let's go back and see this hat. or see if anything's changed with him. If he's got any new missions for us or anything. Across the muddy street towards the old flop house. Let's see if he has any work for us. You step off a familiar lit. Hatter turns and looks at you, finishing this conversation. Private call with client. Don't worry if this one kills me. Your pensions are nil, nil either way. He circles behind his desk and the guard shuts the door behind him and says we have to talk. 
Oh, okay. Some people have reached out to me, some very powerful, very dangerous people who made it abundantly clear that I'm to tread light lightly with this, hence the privacy. Can't tell you too many details until, not until I know you're taking it on. What I can tell you is that it pays well, frankly. Given the compensation package, you may never need that thing again. The catch is, you might imagine, it's no cakewalk. The target is well protected, and you're experienced, you're expected to infiltrate rather than assault. Otherwise, you'd be having this conversation with a Merc company. Of course, your discretion is implied by the price, and the price. I should tell you risks of what they are. I can only offer, I should tell you, risks being what they are. I can only offer this uh, to you once. He sits back, giving you a few moments to take it on. Can I count on you? I'll do it. Who's your client? No way. Uh, let's, uh, who's your client? Hatter scratches his head. I wish I could be more forthcoming. I have no doubt that they are, they're motivated with financing the match. I wholly expect they'll pay upon delivery. Press him for more. He leans in. Let's just say there's a group out there who doesn't get a lot of credit. Paranoid Luddites. Seeing monsters in the shadows where there aren't any and the like. Fearing something's coming. My client, they may be in fear. They may be the feared thing. As real as you are in me. I had her dons a strange smile. So interested. Yeah, we'll do it. Hatter seems more uh, stressed than relieved. I was afraid you'd say that. But for the record, I chose you for a reason. Resourcefulness, resourcefulness is a value trait these days. From the raining mess in his office, he takes an atlas nearly fallen apart in pages to a map of Michigan. Up here, he says, circle in the area in the far north. There's a military base, Camp Grayling. That's it. Yep. Used to be called before the National Guard abandoned it. But don't get your hopes up. It said if they left behind... Uh, it said they left behind a state of the art security system unmanned, of course. Just machines without masters who, as far as I know, have let no trespasser live ever. Okay, well, good thing I'm a hacker, right? And I have electronic skills. I have a feeling they might come in handy. I've heard a rumor, though, he interrupts himself. Maybe I read it. Anyway, I seem to remember hearing some protesters got around the defenses back in the day. Thanks for a moment. Something embarrassingly low-tech, too. Mm-hmm. Shakes his head. I'll be damned if I can remember what it was, though. Or what, it, uh, what though. You might rummage through some old newspaper. Ah, I'm one step ahead of you, Hatter. See if you can find that story. It'd be, uh, it'd be, it'd be getting chewed up by whatever it is they got running up there. But Hatter excels in a chuckle. That's one part, uh, that's one part defeat. Wait, but Hatter excels in a chuckle. That's one part defeat. Other bemused. Mind over matter, right? Takes out a small device from his pocket. Your job besides infiltration is to plant this right into the base's intelligent mainframe. The software will do the rest, I'm told. Where that mainframe is, however, remains unclear. But the data banks they used in those days were huge. Look for the biggest building and expect the doorway to be unobvious. The most important thing, do not insert the bug without finding an ID badge on site first. Okay. ID badge, then... Activate the bug. The barracks might be a, a decent bet for that. Okay. Once the bug is in place, all you have to do is make your way back here and, well, we'll begin Operation Easy Living, so to speak. What's this? What are these people after? Yeah, what are these people after? Hatter shrugs. Can't say I know. There's a bit of a stink back in the day about that place. S that so-called PRISM surveillance network. But dwelling on that might be dangerous, to be honest. As I've said, these folks are our serious business in the timetable that's the good news in fact he leads back in the chair take your time on this one do some recon re reconnoitering gather the resources you need first the client wants this done sooner rather than later but they don't have an immediate deadline that it's done is more important to them than when but enough about that had her buzzes the guard back in you have work to do and I well I have a million things on my bucket list in case you really don't make it back the guards uh, allow you through, and before long, you're bracing yourself against the chill air of the sprawl street. All right. Well, so so there we go. We got ourselves a mission, and Camp Grayling is... Did, I thought he said it. Well, where's Camp Grayling at? I thought he put it on the map. Did he not? Maybe I have to move off the hex for it to activate or something. We'll, we'll check back on the map later. Uh, let's go see if we can get some eye surgery done. Right. 
Oh. Oh. I didn't realize there was more to the map. Concrete Forest Apartments. Let's go to the health clinic first, though. Yeah, we've uh, already read that, so we're going to go inside. See what kind of things they got here. A blood transfusion. Yeah, that would completely heal you up, but way too much for what we need. Treatment with the nano robots. Full diagnostic workup. You got a bruise. Let's go upstairs. Okay. Night vision. Ooh, artificial night vision upgrade for 300? That doesn't seem bad. Artificial eye replacement, eye surgery. 1,000. That's what I want. Right? I think that's what I want. Artificial eye telescopic upgrade. So you can see, but oh, I bet you had I got that before I looked at the uh, at the bank and I was looking through the uh, binoculars. I bet you I should have got this first and then did that, and I would have got my money out of the bank or been able to hack in or something. I don't know. Let's do the eye surgery. It'll leave us with eighty bucks, but hey, let's do that. Patient will be screened for eligibility in laser assist correction or implantable uh, columnar lens. If eligible, patient's myopia will be corrected and better than normal vision will be achieved. So that would be eagle eye, right? Let's do it. After screening you for existing factors and eligibility, your vision is assessed by a computer and you are guided to an operating room. The procedure is quick and done in under... Uh, and done in under local anesthesia. Within an hour, you are back on your feet. You're told that you may experience some dryness in your eyes and mild pain. The healing period is... a only a remarkable one to two days. Finished, you make your way to the attendant and retrieve your belongings. Is there anything else we can help you with? Nope, I think I've spent enough money for today. I do want to come back when I have 200 bucks to get that night vision and uh, maybe 500. Night vision and telescope uh, lens, whatever. So, maybe we have like regular vision now, but then when we get the telescopic eye, we can then see like eagle eye. Maybe that's it. Let's uh, let's exit. Is that, nope, that's the wrong one. There it is. All right, let's head down here and see what Concrete Forest Apartments are about. Arriving at Concrete Forest Apartments, you immediately see the resemblance. Towering structures stand at regular intervals like giant artificial trees, crisscrossing laundry lines, string lights, and contra code balcony modifications complete with complete the illusion. Below the ground is an organic patchwork of community gardens and trash heaps, gutted husks of cars and playgrounds. Those who call the forest home and those who sleep in its shadows. It feels a bit more like a street fair collided with a refugee camp in the ghetto. You step into the block and start looking around. There's a canteen truck strategically positioned curbside near the main walk. People are lined up in the at the illuminated side window and a mixture of steam and smoke stream from its openings. Nearby music booms from where a crowd is gathered. It's all bobbing shoulders and legs from here. But you do see a car's hatchback sticking up from the near near the center. One of the towers has a sea stone at ground level. A lonely few are inside a sea store. Oh, sea store. Yeah, okay. At ground level. A lonely few, few are inside, but it doesn't seem very popular. And there's the ubiquitous Knockoff vendor barking at passerbys. Passersby. Okay, so we got here. Check out the canteen truck. Forty-eight dollars. I wonder if I should have sold my stuff. I wonder if you can. You can probably. No, uh, that's buying stuff. Check out the crowd. Leave. Go inside. Let's check out the crowd. The sidewalk is vibrating with bass as you approach, and the scene begins to make a bit of more sense. A wide-body metallic red hatchback is parked near the center. Its doors and hatch are wide open to expose an array of light speakers and subs. You can almost feel the air move in time with the beat. Well, that's exactly what sound is. Meanwhile, b-boys are taking turns, mixing moves and in styles both familiar and strange. It astounds you how the human body can do these things, how humans still push the boundaries of an art form older than you can imagine. The high positive energy feels so foreign after days in the wild, Everything out there seems to be forgotten in this hot bath of sound and energy. You stick around a few minutes more, soaking up raw culture, then you turn back to matters at hand. There's a canteen truck. Okay, yeah, we got that. Let's uh, check out the sea store. 
In major towers like this, you often find a convenience oh, convenience store, okay. On the ground level, like what you would uh, find at a gas station. It's filled with things that work in an emergency, but nothing for which you'd uh, dedicate a visit. The uh, cramped space is filled with bottle drinks, junk food, over-the-counter drugs, and impulse buys. Start shopping. Huh. Twinkies, I saw lots of Twinkies. Pick up items to purchase them. You cannot sell them here, however. Okay. I'm sneaking towards, oh, I'm sneaking. That's probably why I was moving two hexes at a time. I want to... Oh, I could probably have to go here. There we go. Okay. We got cigarette lighters. Don't need those. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Let's, uh... Did I sell this? I forgot about selling this. No. It won't let me sell. I have to do that at the jet market. Okay. Bunch of Twinkies. Bunch of whatnot. And shopping bags, of course. Yeah, there's the Erie brand water cool all right well nothing for us here I don't think there's anything more for us here let's exit the apartments leave the apartments check out the crowd check out the C-store okay. let's uh let's leave the area here What happens if I come back here? Private security guard. Yeah. Red dome. Could grab something to eat there. It's kind of expensive though. Twenty dollars. Might do that. Let's go and do that. Nice. All right, let's see here. Your eyes fixate on the kitchen door. You wait impatiently for the food. Doesn't have to. Doesn't even have to be your order. You'll gladly accept a m misdelivered plate. When it does arrive, you have to restrain yourself from going feral on the dinner. <laughs> With some effort, you take a controlled bite of the first piece of shrimp. Your mouth floods with saliva. There's a stinging sensation radiating from the side of your tongue as flavors drip over it. Pecking around the plate, you sample the sides, mixing them in your mouth. The savory flavors complement each other, rounded out by the sweet and sour of the peach. You consume the entire meal without regard for the world around you. As you pick the last morsel from the plate, you feel sensation that has eluded you for days, fullness. And I think we read the rest of this before, but uh, yeah, we're going to definitely tip. Yes, we do. Four dollar tip. Okay, there we go. So, I think what we'll do is we'll stay the night in one of these. We'll stay the night down here. We'll feel nice and full. Stay down here. And, uh, I, I'm going to unhide. I think then I can actually move faster. Our, uh, turn's all the way up to five now, though. There we go. That was a problem. I was moving slow because I was hiding every time I went from hex to hex all the way down here to the, to the city. Uh, I think if we look in here, we'll find a charger. No. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's one of these. One of these has always got, like, chargers or something. It's scavenge. No, we're not going to find anything in there. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Full screen. There we go. All right. These had like uh, the power stations or something. There it is. All right, let's charge. Empty. Oh, that's what I gotta do. Oh. Okay, let's uh, start charging up some of these things. Maybe I can hack something here. As well, my my uh, my phones, right? Let's empty these out. Empty that out. Empty that out. Change that back. Perfect. 
perfect. I think if I hack these phones, they're worth a lot more than just selling them straight away. Right, let's turn this on. There we go. Oh, do I need to put it in my hand? How do I hack it? It's locked. I want to hack. find some batteries that fit this. I don't know if they're... That's not it. But we will throw some charge into those batteries. Can't charge it? Oh, they already have 12. Oh, well, let's empty that out. Here we go. Now we have 20 in there. No, nothing. Can I just put this straight in here? No. I need some sort of special battery for that, apparently. Oh, that's a cell phone battery. That's the problem. Hmm. Maybe I need... Hold on. Maybe I need three cell phone batteries. Why won't it let me put another battery in there? Because it's got space for two more. That doesn't make sense. We have to do it over here. Hmm. I took it out of there and now it won't let me put it back in. It's so weird. Oh, it's a different type of battery, isn't it? This is the one I need. So apparently there's more than one cell phone battery. I think I can get these. Can I wear that on top? No. Let me try this. Oh, that's a cell phone battery. It's not going to work. But I do have some other batteries here. Let me do it, is it? I got this on. Now let me actually do something with it. Can I hack it? Let me hack it. Oh, I have an eagle eye now. And I, I got rid of myopia. Now I do have an eagle eye. Okay. Well, that's good. That's awesome. I guess that's why they said above average. I need to figure out how to how to hack this cell phone. I'm going to hold on to these until I read in the comments from you guys how to hack them. It might be a couple episodes later because I'm batch recording this. But So that's frustrating. I can't put the battery back in there. Huh, now it will let me use... It will let me put stuff in here now. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, we'll keep our hand free. That'll, that'll be fine. That's fine with me. Alright, well, we'll keep the gas mask on since I can actually use that at the moment. percent on the spear. Wait, what kind of batteries does this have? That's the same as this. Double A battery. What about this? Double A. Mm, okay. Okay. Well, I think everything's been charged. Can I? Yeah, let's empty this out and put... Let's get some fresh charges in there. For the water tester, it should re-up our charges. Perfect. 20. Good, because we were down to 2 on that. What else? Can I charge anything else up? I don't think those... Yeah, that doesn't use the same interesting. 
Let's go ahead and empty this out. Oh, it takes two. Two. Okay, so you do have to fill the slots up. And I don't have enough cell phone batteries. Okay. Now the battery, the flashlight should work now. So we should be able to see at night. I think I think we're good now. Yeah. With that, okay. Um, what else can we do? See, make sure I'm not. Yeah, I want to collect cell phones and get their batteries and stuff like that. So, okay. Well, that's at least I learned something there. Took me forever, but all right. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get a little. So let me see. Hold on, I gotta read these. Hatchback. They have a little extra spin on heat and shelter in the doors lock. Hatchback. Uh, it's 45. Yeah, probably do that. Patron could rent a open pickup and they're down on our luck and own a sleeping bag. And locks. Door locks. Own chem toilet. Um, I don't think we can get attacked here, right? Nobody's going to rob me. I think you would take the hatchback if you want to store some stuff here temporarily, like for 24 hours. I'm going to try the, uh, I'm going to go cheap. I might regret this, but there we go. When you find a stall, there's a maroon pickup truck in it. The bed's more than big enough to stretch out, maybe for two or three people if you really wanted. The cab, on the other hand, is pretty minimal. No sleeping in there unless you're a fan of a sore neck and back. You'll do for a place to safely stash your stuff, though. And the park aid's roof at least stops the rain. Okay. So now we're here. Yeah, I guess we can stay here. Communal trash can or my pickup truck. And there's some sort of contents in here. What is this? A dome light. Oh, nice. Let's re enter the park aid. Okay, no, we're good. Alertness. Should be good. I can't imagine getting attacked around here with all the guards, but. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some sleep and then we'll start heading off uh, in the morning. Start um, looting again, getting some more money and, and getting some more uh, upgrades. I have a feeling we're going to need them when we go into Camp Grayling eventually. Plus, we need to start collecting foil and try to figure out how to make this foil this foil uh, suit. I don't know. Is that something that we can do with clothes? Probably clothes, right? That's food. Here's, here's a tunic. Foil scraps. Mm -hmm. I can't do anything with that. And then we're in the medic area there. So the miscellaneous clothes stuff is right here. And we don't have a whole lot. So I think we need to find a recipe for it or something. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and grab some sleep here. Or my uh, sleeping bag, wherever that is. There it is. Oh. Now that I took both things out, I can't get... Oh, what a pain. What a pain, what a pain. Open it up. Put your stuff in. I should have like a placeholder in there. Like I should just put, uh, yeah, my newspaper stra scraps are going to go in there as a placeholder. Perfect. There. Good. You know what? Hold on. Yeah, I actually just want the newspaper scraps in there. Yep. Stand by. I messed that up. I didn't mean to do it like that. There, you're a placeholder. You come over here. Good enough. Where'd it go? Oh, it's in there. Okay, whatever. Um, I want this in my hand. And the uh, gas mask. I really don't care about that. I'm going to put that over there. The gas mask. Charge. Oh. Yeah, oh, we shouldn't be wearing that. 
It's got no charges left, right? Let's see this. Spent. Spent. Oh, they're worthless. Get rid of those. They're worth only like four dollars. That one's spent too. I'm I'm wearing this gas mask and it's doing absolutely nothing for me. Alright, well, we'll put it over here. I guess I'm at least it's not taking up space. Put these on. Rags are getting dirty on my face. Keep that out. That can get stowed. Okay. Oh, I want to turn that off. See, I, it, I don't get why it turns on, but it has three spots. I thought I, I need more batteries, but maybe not. Maybe it's partially turning on. It doesn't make sense. It's either on or off. I'm going to have to read up on how to, how to activate the cell phones. Because I know with computers, you can actually get into the computer itself in the game. Okay. Well, let's get a little bit more comfort here. And uh, let's go ahead and sleep. See what happens. Okay. It's kind of neat because how much everything's lit up here. You can actually see at night like that. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and end our turn there. There we go. Daytime. Uh, let's pick up our sleeping bag. Otherwise it will be gone. Guaranteed. I'll keep this down here so I can access it. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get out of here and start walking around. Oh, I did want to check and see if why is this the map so small? Oh, I can move it around. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's Camp Grayling. Okay, goodness. We got a ways to go. We got a long ways to go. Wow. Okay. It's going to take a minute. So I think we strike off this way. Kind of hit hit uh, the places we sort of skipped and kind of keep exploring up in this area here. And come back. Do some more trading. More upgrades. And go from there. So... Where am I at now? Oh my gosh. Somehow I ended up way over there. Alright, good. Well, let's get going here. I'm trying to think if I need anything. I don't think I really need anything. Can I can I actually take stuff with me? I'm going to eat something. Sweet sour seagull wings. That actually sounds pretty good. I could go for that. Let's do some tenders. Now if I buy it, what? Now, that being $20 for a bottle of water. Forget you. Do I have it in my inventory now? The tenders, or did I eat it? I think I ate it. Just want to know if I can stockpile food or not. I don't see it anywhere. Yeah, I think I ate it. Okay, so be it. And last chance, Canteen does have an electrical outlet, so we can use that. Alright, so I'm going to dip over this way in a minute there we go ignore the mercenary soldier yeah it's so much faster moving around when I'm not hidden I don't think I hit this house We have not. Twelve dollars. Mm, not really worth it. Is it better than ours? Twenty-five percent. No, it's not better than ours. Cargo pants. Yeah. Nothing really worthwhile there, unfortunately. See, these are too close to Detroit. I think to have much good loot. Ooh, a cleaver. 
Twelve dollars. A gas mask. Is that better than mine? Mine's thirty-four point one. This is thirty-one point one. Nope. Another Leatherman. Thirty-five percent. Ninety-six. Okay. Should probably uh, destroy the uh, cleaver. Don't go anywhere. We're probably probably 15 hexes away. We're probably close enough to start actually getting in some decent loot. Actual binoculars. Not really that great, though. Yeah, I think what we have is better. Yeah, nothing much here, really. Scratch the foil. Take that. I'm going to finally figure out how to make a foil outfit or whatever. Where'd the rest of my foil go? Is it around here somewhere? A 30. I thought I had some more. Did I leave it behind somewhere? I might have emptied it out, pulled the one foil back, and then forgot to grab the other ones. Thinking I had grabbed the foil. It's possible. It's all right. I don't think it's going to be too hard to find now that I know that you can rip up a chip bag and get a, a ton. Like 20 of them or whatever it was. Yeah, we might still be in the poor loot zone. Whoa. $20. Okay, yeah. It's uh, $9 for that. and These are all empty. Ooh, I just rubbed my eye and it started stinging. That was weird. All right. Let me turn the heater off down here. I think maybe my eyes are drying off, drying out because of the space heater I have below my legs. Blowing dry air up here. You guys read this if you want to. Pause as needed. Nothing in that hoodie, nothing in that hoodie, nothing in the cargoes. We'll take this, break it down. Well, well, as soon as I find it. There it is. Okay. I'm going to try to get like 60 pieces of foil and then I'll see if I can build a coat or something. Or maybe the recipe will appear. I just need a lot, like a lot of them. Because you think if it was going to cover your whole body, you need a ton. Like how many glazed potato chip bags would it take to cover your entire body, honestly? And if I'm getting 12 scraps out of each glazed potato bag, potato chip bag, yeah, you're going to need a lot of foil. we got a house over here. We'll check, too. How's our medical doing? Ah, oh, we're tip-top. Unhurt. Like that. What is that? Broad spear. Yeah, we'll destroy that worthless. Night vision goggles. Not worth anything. I kind of wish. I, well, mine are 100% or close to 100%. Pill bottle. We'll empty that out. I forgot to sell the alcohol. I'll do that when I go back next time. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Let's empty this all out. Oh, too many? I mean, do I got to do like just one? Because it only let me have ten in there. Okay, I see what you're doing. All right, well, we'll just let them lay loose. The red and white ones are pain meds, and we can also look at this to just match them up if we have to. I, I should remember that. 
Oh, no. oh there it is. Make sure all these go back in the first aid kit. Empty bottle. I gotta make a noise trap real quick. So at least we have one when we uh, start camping out here. Since we got empty bottles. I don't have the a small string. Uh, I got medium strings. Stand by. I will uh, remedy that issue. I, I, did have, I did have medium strings. I will in a second. As I tear up these clothes. Oh, not enough moves to crash. Okay, well, we're going to tear up these clothes and then get some small strings here. That's what I needed. Oh, don't get rid of that pill bottle. What? You, it doesn't make sense. I have two pill bottles, and I guess I guess they bounce off of each other. But we're not going to use that one. No, 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 no. I empty out my pills like that. Don't you do that to me. We'll find ourselves a shard of glass over here somewhere. Still have the shards of glass, don't I? Yeah, I do somewhere. I know I do. Okay, I'm just going to take the pill bottle, and then when we find some rocks or some shards of glass, we'll make use. I could probably break one of these bottles. Let's see here. Let me take uh, take this bottle, break it, just into shards. Wonderful. There we go. I had a feeling that might work. All right, again, don't use don't use either of those. What are you doing? Hey, don't do that. Use the empty one right there, and then use the shards of glass. Perfect. Available. We don't have to empty out everything as we, as I normally do. And we can put that up there for crafting, as well as that shard. And the string will keep that. And the clean rags. I almost left those behind. Oh no! We ran out of room in there, really. Ah, uh, let's see here. I guess I did. What if I put... No, I can make this work. Hold on. Apologies in advance, folks. There, we'll do that first. Put that down here. Put that down here. There. Then we'll do the small things. Largest to smallest. That works for me. Not really. I, I don't even know why I really use the first aid kit. It's the actual box, but I think it just keeps things organized so I don't accidentally throw them out. Makes it a little bit harder. So I do have the tendency to accidentally drop stuff. We'll end our turn here. I don't, don't think I need to end my turn, but. What time of day is it here? Daytime still. Good stuff. I kind of hope I run into another dog man. Make some more meat. And just cook up some water and keep surviving. Yeah, 38%. Not, not really that good. Anything in the hoodies? No, unfortunately not. Probably going to start collecting some of this as well. Because it looks like we're a little low on scrap stuff. Recipes. Maybe I'll get lucky. Grab some of these rags too. Tear these up. I'm just trying to collect more string. 
since I realized I'm out of it. Is that everything? I thought there was another shirt here somewhere that I wasn't wearing. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Wonderful. Grab that. Put that in here. Close to 19. Perfect. Take that. Okay, we're good there. I don't think we need anything else. Yeah, I'm pretty... Pretty happy with that. Let's keep scavenging. More parts. Not many more parts, but some. Two pieces of wood. I'll take that for fire. Probably want to start a fire in a somewhat distant future. Not too distant future, I should say. Huh? A crowbar with a strap. 44. 75. Not as good. You know what we could do? Uh, we just get a string out of it. Never mind. Yeah, just destroy it. Hi, right, tunic. Alright. Nothing else there. Well... I'm gonna go up this way. I feel like I'm just have better luck killing people. Maybe this guy's night vision will actually actually be uh functional. He's got a punch. That's his defense. I think he's trying to stay away from me. Yeah, let's let's drop our vehicle here for a second. Now I can run. I tripped. <laughs> I tripped again. Oh, I'm such a klutz. Wrong one. Yeah, he's got no interest in... He's trying to He's trying to keep distance away from me. He probably doesn't have much. He seems pretty weak. Of course, I seem extremely klutzy, so maybe that'll cancel it out and we'll actually have a fair fight. But if I get him within... Yeah, he's trying to get away. Too late. He doesn't want any part of me. Oh my gosh. That hurt. What do we get him with? He desperately tries to retreat from player, but can't get away. Exposed to an easy attack. Oh, here we go. Uh, gashed his upper chest. This broad spear stab, coughing up blood. Yeah, okay. Let's lure him. He's fallen. Hit him again. He's unconscious. Finish him. Yeah, probably $31. I'll take that. Ah, no charges. But it's worth... The condition's not too bad. It's, it's worth some money. Yeah, I say we take that. Move these over here. Got some cured. St oh, we'll eat that. Ah, oh, nice. Copper book. Yeah, we'll eat that. 6.3% condition, but luckily this isn't like the long dark. As long as it's cured and not spoiled, we're good. And he's got some soup, which we're going to eat. As long as it's got. Oh, it's got red berries in it. Never mind. Destroy that. Alright, let's see here. Some. Uh, have I looked that one up? I don't know if I have. Losapine? If anybody does a search warrant on my phone, they're going to be thinking I got an issue. Losapine? Fine. Well, it's taking a minute to search, but I'll uh, get back around to it here. Oh, here we go. It's an antacid. Wait, 
It looks identical. It looks identical to the antibiotic amoxicillin when I unidentified. Oh, that was the Neo Scavenger wiki. Okay, so okay, I was like, man, what? what how, that's crazy. That like WebMD told me that. All right, I don't think I have any laptop batteries. I think they're different than these. They don't take double A's. That's a cell phone battery. It ain't gonna work. But we'll take the, we'll take the laptop nonetheless. I wanna, where'd my vehicle? Oh, there it is. That's right. We were in a fight. Where the heck did it go? I start freaking out. Well, I guess if I have a stomach ache, I guess I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, whatever. Oh, there's Bambi. We're not hungry though, but I could I could go for some steaks and cure them, run them back. Of course, that's a long way. I don't know if I really want to do that right now. We might save that deer for later. Yeah, I think we'll save it for later. Man, there's Bambi's everywhere. The guard, the guards are gonna be like, those dudes are really duking it out. You know, the guy with the spear is really beating the other guys, but sit back and watch watch the fight go down. Take bets. None of these are really worth anything. Twelve bucks for the jeans, but a lot of space. I think we can do better. I know we can do better. Oops. There we go. Nothing found on that square. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's funny how it's like your activities attracted attention, as if like I don't want that because I love getting into these fights. I'm such a troublemaker. Why can't I? Have I already been to this one? Yeah, I think I have. Okay, I must have already been to this one. What do you got in your hand, buddy? You got yourself a knife or something? Whiskey bottle. Pulling sled awkwardly. Overloaded, unable to run. Oh, buddy, we are. I'm coming for you. I want to close distance so he can't get away. Because I think if you get past 30, range of 30... It will disengage and allow him to move to like another hex or something. Gotta make sure we pick up the right sled. Wait, did I pick up my sled? <gasps> I didn't. Oh no. Alright, well let's kick this guy's butt and then we gotta go back and find our sled. I think it was in... I don't remember where we were. We'll find it. It'll. I think it. No, it doesn't leave. It'll leave a box. I think. Okay. Okay. Let's beat this guy up real quick. Jeez, he's desperately trying to get away from me. Let's leg trip him. Take him down. Somehow I ended up down too. All right, let's just stab him. I like, I like just stabbing people. Seems to be. Blue room. He's unconscious. Melee surge. I blacked out. I killed the guy. I didn't realize I was that tired. What do you have? A lot of spoiled meat. This is this. Jeez, he had my. He had my sled. Did he? No, he's got a lot of stuff though. No, this is different. And we'll eat that though. Well, we'll take it with us. If I had a sled, I would. Some bullets. Three hundred dollars worth. This sort of looks like my stuff, but it's 
He's got potato chips in a whiskey bottle. What a weirdo. And drink that. At least we're getting something to drink. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's just a scrap of paper. Okay. Well, let's empty this out. That didn't go anywhere. Uh, we need to destroy all this meat. Make room for this box because it won't let me empty the box out. I wonder if when I dropped the sled, did it destroy it? Not here, but before. Nothing worthwhile in there, really. Alright. Two sleds. Yeah, there's my sled. Alright. Well, I dropped it. I just didn't know where it went. So you got to actually go to the campsite, not the ground. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. I learned something. That's weird. I figured to just put it over here on the ground. Why the campsite? That makes no sense to me. But hey, whatever. Patchwork hide the glove. We got two of those? I mean, the condition's kind of crap, but hey. That's kind of cool. I don't think we have any. Yeah, we don't have any gloves yet. No wonder I lost my sled last time. Come on. I don't expect to look for stuff in the campsite. Just thrown down. Well, I'm glad I figured that out. What is this? Some lockpicks? We got some lockpicks? Nice. I don't have lockpicking skill, skill, but... Wait. There is no lockpicking skill, is there? It's mechanical, right? Or, hold on. Is there a lock? There is a lockpicking skill. I wonder if I can use these even though I don't have lockpicking skill. First things first. All right, let's let's get our sled back. His sled's better than mine, though. It's conditioned. No, no, it's not better. It's twenty-two percent condition. Let's empty this out. Yeah, why doesn't it give you a second page for ground? So I lost it. It lost some stuff from his sled because of that. Messing around with this. Let's put our sled back where it should be. Let's grab those lockpick uh, tools, though. 81% on the pan. I think our pan's still better. Or no, that, that is our pan, isn't it? No, it was right there. I can't tell. I think ours is better. I'll grab some of these scraps, though. I think lockpicking, you just use them like. Uh, it's just like, instead of using a lighter, you use lockpick instead. Crude arrows. Yeah, I wonder if that'll stack. That might stack. It did, oh, but they only stack up five. Okay. I'm gonna destroy that. I don't want that used against me. I'm gonna destroy that. I don't want that used against me. Or that. Or that. Or that, because I can bonk you in the head with that. Leatherman, let's empty that out. What? Use, not use. Empty out. 62% condition. 96. $31. Mm, that's pretty good. So for as small as it is. We'll take that. Another water bottle, we'll take that with us. I think we're max. We're filled up on water, aren't we? Okay, we'll put this down here as like a reserve. Water bottle. I don't think there's any more water bottles we can use. Cell phone battery. No charge on it. But yeah, we'll take that as well. $19 for a shoe. Looking for whiskey. <laughs> Whiskey's worth quite a bit. Uh, a little chunk of meat. Eh, I guess we eat it now. Exchange a little bit of that. Oh, I, at first I thought it was a whiskey. Uh, okay. Eat the potato chips. Good enough. 
Oh my gosh, we're at an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> I gotta end this episode here, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm telling you, the game gets away from me. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all take care. I'll see you in the next one. I just took a blue pill. What? Ooh. Tingly.